Hi guys, Crafty Catsy here. Um, I'm just doing a really quick video here because I wanted to show you some flowers that I did. Um, I'm waiting right now for um, uh, the circle die, you know, the one that has a, I think it's three or four different size circles. Uh, I believe it's the number two. I'm not positive, but I think it is. Anyway, I'm waiting for that one so I can do um, the lollipop flowers. And um, I'm not good at cutting circles. That's why I'm, I'm not attempting them right now. But in the meantime, what I've been doing, because I wanted to try some new flowers, I um, have been using this one. They say this is the um, Tim Holtz Rose uh, dye. And um, I've made roses with it that turned out gorgeous. But I've discovered something else. Um, this dye is also great for making realistic um, roses from satin as well. Um, so aside from the beautiful yo-yo flowers that you girls all make, this is another one that is really nice. And it's not done with the circles. It's done with this dye here. Um, they look like the petals look like real rose petals. Like the, I can't even remember the name of that particular type of rose. But check this out, guys. Um, it's not those. Those are my little tiny ones from um, the... Uh, Oops, from the um, Boho Blossom Punch from Stampin' Up. This is an awesome punch, you guys. Um, I don't own it yet. I, I ordered one, but I don't own it yet. I borrowed that one. Um, okay, so here is um, a flower that I made using this guy. Like the... Um, I put a uh, brad in there to hold it together, and then I put a little bit of stickles for the uh, stamen or whatever you call it. But look at these petals. Like, it looks like real flower petals. You can't, it doesn't uh, show like a real picture on this uh, flip video camera. But I just wish you could really see this. Like, I'm going to send a couple people some because I just, I'm so pleased with how they turned out. And what I really like is these black brads or black stickles. Um, I'll show you a couple other ones. This is a smaller one, like a tiny one. And I love how it gets some of the edges burnt. I think that gives it more character. And that's a little one. And here's a really, really little one. <laughs> little miniature. Check out the petals on this. Like, I think they're just awesome. They look like real petals. Don't you think? Just gorgeous. Another one. It kind of looks like a, a poppy almost. This one I just did, it's not dry, I put a little, I put the black um, stickles and then I put a little rhinestone in there. Just love these. Here's the one with the black, all black in the center. Just love it. That is my favorite. Like, those petals, like, so I, can, I know I keep saying it, so I'm, I apologize, but... Those petals just look so realistic. I can't get over it. Because you know how real flowers are not perfect. They've got, um, you know, just cuts and whatnot in the petals. And that's what gives them their beauty. But yeah, I just love these. So that's just what I wanted to share with you guys today. Thanks for watching.